Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Habakakwadash. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, whose correct names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Harakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, the men, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine to you, I say shalom. No safe havens for Esau. All right. And a lot of Edomites are doing this, whether they're going to uh, building communities in Australia or New Zealand. In this article right here, it goes into how Edomites, you know, it says the wealthy, but come on now. You know who the wealthy is. You know you, you ain't got to be a rocket scientist to say who the wealthy is. And they even say rich. They said wealthy. So we, and rocket scientists to tell who the wealthy is in the society. It's the Edomites. All right, the so-called white people. All right, but what are they? They're 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 trying to. They're escaping. It says hitting the escape button and heading to Montana. All right, and a lot of Edomites have been. They, they live in these big cities because they see. All right, they they can see. Um, that these cities are going to be, hey, they're going to get dangerous. All right, it's going to be race riots. It's going to be famine. It, you know, it's going to get, hey, it's going to get hectic in these cities. It's going to be, you know, anarchy in these streets. And they, and they can force, they can foresee that a little bit. But at the same time, they're not going to hide. They're not going to, you ain't going to hide from judgment. And that's what Esau's trying to do. They're trying to find a safe haven where, you know, you know, the, the cities are going to be, you know, you know, locked down and this and that, and you know, we can just go. To Montana and live on this lake and you know enjoy nature and you know hey the drama's coming to you Edomites too wherever you make dwell all right so as you eat Esau thinks they're gonna go out here to the lake or go to Montana and enjoy nature hey the animals out there you know you got bears you got mountain lions and shit so hey this the, hey the, the the spirit of judgment is out there and the, if the Most High decides to judge you Edomites when you're out there or when you're trying to escape your your judgment hey you Hey, at the end of the day, there's no escaping your judgment, all right? You know, wherever you, wherever you may dwell, because you got Edomites, you ain't trying to run the space, all right? You got Edomites building underground cities and, and, and mountains and shit, all right? But, hey, Esau, you, there's, nowhere, there's nowhere safe for Edomite, all right? Even though there are going to be some Edomites that, that, are going to, the, that are going to survive the destruction of America, but they're going to be the first slaves, all right, so one way or another, whether you come have to come through the loins of the wicked elect and the king, the the the, the wicked, excuse me, uh, the wicked elite uh, in the in the kingdom, or you know you're going to be one of the first slaves. It doesn't matter. You, you're not going to escape your judgment. So let me hop right into the scriptures, um, because what we what we what we're, what we're witnessing, what's taking place right now, is a transition of power, and Esau sees that transition. All right, that's why in, in during the transition of power is going to be bloodshed, and that's why Esau is, is trying to escape, and, and and so they don't have to partake, in it. they don't have to get mixed up in it. All right, this is the book of actually. Let me read the article. I'm read a little bit of the. Let me read this first. This is Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter uh, ten and verse eight. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches, got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right, all those wickedness that Esau has done, all right, throughout their existence, throughout their rulership, all right, they're gonna have to, they're they're gonna have to pay for it, okay? Unrighteous dealings, all right, wickedness, deceit, all right, injuries, all right, you know the 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 the, the bloodshed that you shed here in America, riches got by deceit, or right, all the riches you stole through all throughout the world, okay, and you stole the Most High's riches, the, his his people. Okay, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right, and it's being translated to to Jacob. Okay, the righteous rulership of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, let me grab this scripture real quick, and then I'm gonna read the article. Um, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastes eight and let me see seven. No, no, it's 8. Um, 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, 
Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Just because you Edomites ain't got jacked up all this time, you're still in rulership, all right, from president to president to rulership to, you know, to change of power is still Edomites in power. Just because you ain't got judged for your evil works, for your wickedness, don't think that the Most High forgot about it, all right? That's why you continue to do evil, because you ain't got judged. You haven't been judged as a nation yet, but that judgment is coming, and a lot of them know it. A lot of them are afraid. A lot of them have done the done the crime, but they don't want to pay pay to uh, do the time, pretty much. All right. Verse eighteen: Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before Him. But it shall not be well with the wicked; neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not the Most High. This devil's don't fear the Most High. Two-thirds of our old damn people don't fear the most high. So Esau damn sure don't fear the Heavenly Father. All right. And they believe that they're in good case because their days are being prolonged. All right. They, they, they're, they're, they're steps away from, from trying to fulfill their new world order. All right. But it's not going to come to pass. Just like you trying to find a safe haven. All right. In America, if all places you going, I can see if Edomites went to a different country or they're going to try to find a safe haven in America. America is going to be destroyed. Okay. Let me grab, let me look, read this article. Says, Why are hord, hordes of wealthy people hitting the escape button and heading to Montana? Why have thousands upon thousands of very wealthy people suddenly felt an overwhelming urge to buy a home in Montana? Montana. At this moment, Montana is one of the highest real estate markets in the entire country. When a desirable house is put on the market, it can often spark a wild bidding war. Of course, the vast majority of the potential buyers involved in these bidding wars do not actually have any roots in Montana at all. Vast hordes of wealthy individuals from Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, and other major cities are flooding into the state, and there is only a limited amount of house, housing to accommodate them. As a result, home prices are being pushed to absolutely absurd, le absurd levels. In the Flathead Valley, home builders have been working incredibly hard to construct uh, houses from for new arrivals all right and if you i looked about google the flathead valley uh well let me see i googled uh where is it uh it was a specific at flathead county it made uh the, in flathead county um you can see this area right here flathead county is the letter i mean the uh, the place that is uh, outlined in red so these people, they're not even moving to the major cities like uh, Bozeman or uh, Billings. They're going out in the country thinking that, you know, if we, we get away from the city, you know, no destruction, no, uh, uh, no, 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 no uh, race wars. None of that shit is going to, you know, looting. None, none of that, none of that's going to come their way when they're going to be mistaken. They, they could, man, they can get judged on the way to their new home. Okay. It's only a matter of time for the most high start sending out judgment at, at a rapid rate. All right. And you're going to see it first and foremost amongst our people. But these Edomites, you're going to catch it, too. All right. Because you Edomites are going to be put in a position that you never had before, where you're not going to have food. You're not going to have maybe shelter. OK, you're not going to have the basic necessities that you that you've always had, you know, throughout this life, throughout this, your 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 rulership, because you've been in power. You never had to want for anything. All right. Are we are we as Israelites, we had to go to you for the one of all things. All right. Uh, it reads in Flathead. Flathead Valley home builders have been working inc inc incredibly hard to construct houses for the new arrivals. It's like I read that. The following home, fo the following comes from a New York Post article entitled "Montana: The Sold Out State New Yorkers Can't Get Enough Of." So you got rich Edomites from New York moving over. It said L.A., San Francisco. Um, it says five hundred fifty thousand may seem like a hefty price when those homes originally went up. But today, five hundred fifty thousand would be considered a bargain price. So you know, they people are making money over there. The houses are selling faster, you know, because Edomites, you know, hey, you got you got Edomites that know people in high places, and the destruction is right around the corner. The the anarchy, the 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 the, the martial law. All right, they don't want to be a part of that martial law. It is it, is right behind the corner. It's right around the corner. All right, so but at the same time, you can have a flock of grizzly bears come up there and jack a bunch of Edomites up. They don't know. Okay? They don't they you 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 with the most high you have no clue uh of of what's he gonna do and when he's gonna do it. 
All right. So I ain't gonna read the whole article. You you get the point. You know, all right. They're buying houses out there, and you know, at, 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 and you know, it's a bidding war, and you know, it's you know, they but they but the profits. All right, we we see what's going on. We understand that the times that we're living in, and we and Esau understands too. That's why they're trying to you know hide and escape. All right, but hey, we know that the Most High sees everything. The Most High eyes are in in every place. This is uh, the book of uh, Psalm, excuse me, Proverbs chapter 15 and uh, 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. All right, so the Most High sees everything, okay? You, you know, the, the Most High knew about Epstein Island and all that shit, okay? The Most High knew all the wicked works of Esau, and they try to escape and try to run to these uh, safe havens, and they're not safe, hey, when judgment from the Yahweh Shai is coming down, you're not safe nowhere, okay? And, and that's what a lot of these Edomites don't understand. They think that, you know, they, trust me, they're going to have to pay for this, their sins, all right? They're going to have to pay for their transgressions. Just like we as a nation of Israel pay for our sins and transgressions being under these curses, hey, these same curses that are on us are going to go on them, all right? This is Isaiah chapter 14 and 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their for of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right, they a hey, you Edomites got to pay for the iniquities of your fathers because you are your forefathers through reincarnation. Okay, and, and, and they they know that you know some of them know that. All right, they, their family name and their family businesses and their family wealth have been passed down, passed down, passed down. But how did their families get that money? Who do they have to rape, rob, and murder to, 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 to obtain that wealth? More than likely Israelites. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, let me see. Let me grab this real quick in Psalms. Uh, I got a few scriptures in Psalms. Psalm 7 and 15. And I'm gonna, then I'm going to jump to the ninth uh, chapter. This is set, Psalm 7 and 15. And it reads... He made a pit and digged it, and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealings shall come down upon his own pate. Right, so all the violence and wickedness that Esau have put out and, and perpetuated throughout their, their 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 rulership is going to come down on them. Okay, all their wicked dealings. All right, this is the scripture I read in us uh, of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. That's Esau. That that describes Esau to a T. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right. So all your wickedness that you've done, you saw you got to pay for it. Okay. All that mischief, all the witchcraft, all the deceit. All right. Let me jump over to uh, the ninth chapter and the um, 15th verse. I kind of read the same thing. Uh, the heathen are sunken down in the pit that they made in the net they that they hit is their, is their own foot taken. The Lord is known by the judgments which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands, Higian Selah. All right. Uh, Amos uh, 9 in verse 2. It says, Though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them. Take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. All right. So that's Esau just, you know, it, trying to avoid, escape their judgment, digging into hell, digging to the ground. Underground bunkers. Esau has um, underground bunkers built in these old uh, uh, missile silos, all right, where there may be like, you know, 15 stories underground where, you know, with, if a, any kind of nuclear bomb goes off, they feel that, you know, that they're, they're safe and they, they're prepared to live down there for years, all right? That, that's these devils digging in the head. Hey, the hand of the Lord is going to take them out. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hidden from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, he shall bite them. Okay, so, hey, these Edomites, they don't got a shot. They can, they, they can, there's no way they can escape. They can escape the space. The, hey, the, the angels in the chariots are going to bring them down. Okay, they can hide in the mountains. They can hide in the sea. The serpent, the, the serpent life is going to take them. All right, so it, it, it's nowhere safe for these Edomites, okay? This is uh, Revelation 6 and uh, verse 13. 
And it reads, And the stars of heaven fell upon the earth, even as a fig tree casteth, casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. That's talking about the thermonuclear destruction. Are the stars falling from heaven? Those are those ICBM missiles. And the kings of the earth, the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. That's Esau hiding from the destruction. That's all the heathens. Okay? And and said unto the mountain and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. That's Yahweh by Shimei All right? That's, their, that's, who and that's who ultimately these Edomites are hiding from. Okay? They, 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 and, you know, they're simple. They're going to... Um, Montana, you know, which is still in America. America gonna be destroyed, like I said. Okay, but they hey, that shows you that these Edomites are trying. They're they're they're, they're ditching their, their their city life and they're trying to go to the country, all right, and 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 escape judgment, all right. With with a lot of them don't even know how to live out there once all, really off the grid or 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 once their electricity is turned off, once they got to go out there and hunt. Hey, they're gonna get jacked up, man. They're gonna get judged, all right. Thus thus save the thus save the scriptures. All right, and, and you know the destruction is coming. So, hey, ain't no, hey, hey, ain't nobody safe un until except the elect once they're on them uh, them chariots. All right, but Esau damn sure ain't, sh ain't ain't safe, and and there's no there's no safe havens or no way to escape your judging judgy. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Until next time, I say Shalom.